James Comer, representative in the House that's overseeing the House Oversight Committee. He's leading the charge on this, and he's been out over and over again in the forefront. He's now subpoenaing a number of people, including Mayorkas from DHS. He's including uh, Secret Service employees in this request, as well as others, for obstructing the investigation into what had become an extremely politicized investigation of Hunter Biden and his tax fraud among other things. You know, don't forget, don't forget, Gary Shapley, he was the first whistleblower to come out. And he was the guy who was like scratching his head and saying, I don't get this. Like, why is it that we're not getting all the information we should be getting? And by the way, more importantly, why is it that we're not moving forward like we would normally in a case? Let me share with you this little excerpt he did uh, with CBS News. This is with a reporter there in which he talked about just exactly what he was stumbling upon and how, well, disgusting, frankly, it was. Seriously, like, close your ears. This is not meant for kids because Hunter Biden, you know, he got that money in fast, $11 million, according to NBC News, between 2018 and 2015, and 2018, and he spent it fast on things like, you'll hear. Barry Shapley was a lead IRS supervisory agent in Operation Sportsman, the investigation into Hunter Biden. Shapley said he uncovered conduct that warranted more serious charges. There were personal expenses that were taken as business expenses. Prostitutes, sex club memberships, hotel rooms for purported drug dealers. How much did Hunter Biden owe in taxes? So from 2014 to 2019, it was $2.2 million. By the way, this is on morning TV that that aired. Just for the record, okay? Just for the record on morning TV. Okay, so Hunter Biden, he's getting all this money in from some pretty, well, uh, sketchy places, Romania, Ukraine, China, and then he's spending it on on you know what. Anyway, Comer brought this up a little bit. I'm going to get to all of this breaking information right now because we've got the emails again, courtesy of the Heritage Foundation, which filed the FOIA request and then went to the Federalist and revealed all this. So it's an exclusive for the Federalist. I am quoting the reporting of Margot Cleveland there. Um, excellent reporting, but really this is quite quite something to hear. And while we knew it, we knew it, right? We knew that this was all fake and they were trying to mislead us. Now we have evidence of that. And this is kind of frightening, shall we say. Anyway, here is, here is James Comer speaking, I don't know, a a month or two ago with the whistleblowers there on Capitol Hill. And he's sort of saying like, why didn't you hear about that 1023? That one document that was from a a confidant, somebody who had worked actually for the Obama administration. This was a human confidential source that had had quite a conversation with some of the people at Burisma indicating that Hunter and Joe, were being paid $5 million each for their quote-unquote protection. It really is like the mob. Seriously. Anyway, let's listen to Comer and his conversation there with the whistleblowers because this is pretty telling in light of what we now know. 23, but I provided a supplement after I saw open source information from the former Attorney General Bill Barr that said that he saw this, this document and they sent it to Delaware for further investigation and uh, the, 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 the team, as, as far to the best of my knowledge, never saw that document. So the team that was in charge of investigating the Biden family for tax crimes never received the FBI document that alleged Joe Biden was involved in a bribery scheme? You know, for the IRS investigators on the case, the answer is no. Is that, un- is that odd? I, I, I mean, everybody knew you were investigating the Bidens for at least tax evasion. Generally speaking, if there's any types of money coming in and there's an, a criminal tax investigation ongoing, I don't see how that inf- information could be withheld from the investigators. And, and I can tell you, and I can pr- provide this in my testimony, but like there is things that are contained on that document that could further corroborate other information that we might be having an issue corroborating because it could be regarding a foreign official. So if we have information regarding that in a document or a witness, we can further corroborate later evidence. And like I said, if that's something that we have, we can turn that over to the House Ways and Means Committee. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Yeah. And therefore, they should have gotten the FD 10 to 23, but they didn't. 
Hey everyone, Trish Regan here. If you enjoyed that clip, please do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. Just hit that little subscribe button right over there. Did I do that right? Uh, not quite, but you know where it is. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you get the alerts, and I'll see you back on the show.